ओम भूरभुव स्वहत सवितुरवरेण्यम भृगो देवी धीयो यो न प्रचोदया ओम शांति 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 नमस्कार माय डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज वीडियो नंबर टू ऑन अध्यात्म उपनिषद दिस वीडियो स्टार्ट्स विद रिजल्ट ऑफ सेल्फ नॉलेज स्टेंजा ट्वेंटी वैराग्य से फलम बोध हो बोध सयो प्रति फलम सव आनंद अनुभाव छंत्री वैशो वो पोर्ते फलम द रिजल्ट ऑफ डिटैचमेंट इज नॉलेज दैट ऑफ नॉलेज इज विदड्रॉल फ्रॉम सेंस प्लेजर्स विच लीड्स टू द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ ब्लिश ऑफ द सेल्फ एंड फ्रॉम दिस फॉलोज पीस द प्री रिकविजिट क्वालिफिकेशन फॉर एक्वायरिंग स्पिरिचुअल नॉलेज आर said to be for viz vairagya renunciation viveka discriminative knowledge mumukshtvam longing for liberation and sad sampada six virtues like sama dama uparti etc this upanishad delineates a cause and effect relationship between vairagya viveka and uparti abstinence if the withdrawal of the mind from sense objects is lacking then it must be concluded that the mind has not yet acquired firm knowledge and the vairagya is still incomplete though uparti abstinence is said to be a prerequisite qualification here it is said to be the result of knowledge which is of a superior state than in the preliminary state without discriminative knowledge it is impossible to attain abstinence even though yoga even through yoga in this shloka it is made quite clear that the real characteristics of spiritual knowledge is complete withdrawal from the sense pleasures and cessation of all activities aimed to acquire them one who indulges in sense pleasures and still claims to possess spiritual knowledge is a hypocrite and fallen from spiritual grace the lord in the gita also says on seeing the supreme his taste to ceases then the desire for sense objects does not exist even as a tendency and one attains complete vairagya stanza number 29 यद्रो उत्तरभा पूर्व पूर्व तो निष्फल निवृत्ति परमा तृप्ति आनंदो अनुमय शब्द है इफ द सक्सीडिंग स्टेज इफ द सक्सीडिंग स्टेजिज आर एबसेंट इट मीन्स दैट द प्रिसीडिंग स्टेजिज हैव बीन इनफ्रक्चुअस द नेचुरल आउटकम if they are followed in the right order is withdrawn from the objective world absolute satisfaction and in in comparable bliss method of spiritual knowledge the teacher now imparts the mantra of tatvam asi to the disciple and exhorts him to visualize nididhyasanam the self after listening sarvanam and continuous pondering man mananam over the meaning of this mantra this is the method of imparting knowledge to a disciple if practiced by a qualified disciple 
as per the instructions of the teacher it leads to samadhi direct knowledge is attained in samadhi stanza number 30 mayopadhir dhoni sarvajitvaadhi lakshane par ukshay shabla hai satyadam kaste padabdi bhidd hai he who has maya creative power as is adjunct the cause of the world characterized by omniscience and other transcendental power and fundamental truth and so forth is denoted by the word tat stanza number 31 alam bantaya bhati यो अस्मत प्रत्यक्ष शब्द यो अंत करने संबिन भोद स तुम पदाभिद दैट विच शाइन्स फोर्थ एज द कंटेंट ऑफ वर्ड आई एंड एल्यूसीडेटेड एज द इनर ऑर्गन्स ऑफ कोगनीशन इज डिनोटेड बाय द वर्ड त्वम स्टेंजा नंबर थर्टी टू माया विद्ये विहाय उपाधि पर जीवो अखंडम सच्चिदानंदम परम ब्रह्म विलक्षत ओनली बाय द नेगेशन ऑफ माया क्रिएटिव पावर एंड अविद्या नी साइंस द एडजेंट्स ऑफ गॉड एंड जीवा रेस्पेक्टिवली दैट द ब्रह्मा हु इज अनडिफरेंशिएटेड बीइंग अवेयरनेस एंड ब्लिस इज विजुअलाइज्ड Maya is that creative power due to which absolute Brahma, Nirguna Brahma appears as Ishvara or causal Brahma, Saguna Brahma. He is said to be the Lord of Maya, and from a relative standpoint, he is considered to be the highest. But the seeker who identifies himself with causal Brahma. is still identified with the relative universe and not with the absolute because of avidya absolute brahma appears as jiva individual soul of limited knowledge the basis of both jiva and ishvara is absolute brahma one should reject both maya and avidya to arrive at the absolute immutable and imperishable brahma the next two shlokas delineate the process of sarvanam mananam and nididhyasanam for acquiring spiritual knowledge stanza number 33 itham vakes darshana anusandhanam sarvanam bhavet युक्तया संभावित तत्व अनुसंधान मनन तो तत इंटरप्रेटिंग दस बाय मीन्स ऑफ सेंटेंसेस इज लिसनिंग सर्वनम वाइल असर्टेनिंग इट्स असेंशियल इंपोर्ट थ्रू रीजनिंग इज डिफाइंड एज रिकैपिचुलेटिंग मननम स्टेंजा नंबर थर्टी फोर ताभ्याम निर्वीचित स्थापित तथ एक तव मे तद्धि निधिध्यासन मुच्यते फिक्सिंग द माइंड विद वन पॉइंटेड अटेंशन ऑन द असेंशियल मीनिंग आफ्टर रिजॉल्विंग ऑल द डाउट्स थ्रू लिस्निंग एंड रिकैपिचुलेटिंग इज सेट टू बी मेडिटेशन निधिध्यासनम स्टेंजा नंबर थर्टी फाइव धात्री ध्यान प्रीतज कर्मागोचर निवादीप वंचित समाधिधीयते दिस इज स्टेंजा नंबर थर्टी फाइव वेन द माइंड हैविंग गिवन ऑफ द ड्यूरिटी ऑफ मेडिटेशन meditator and meditation gradually gets absorbed in the 
object of meditation unwavering like a flame in windless pour it is said to be in smadhi vartyasto tadanim me gyata atam gochara samnadun miyante vithitasya samuthita in that state of smadhi modifications of the mind are dissolved in the self itself and are not recognized they appear as a thing of the past non existent after arising from the state of smadhi stanza number 37 अनादि विहि संसारे संचिता करम कोट यह अर्णन विलियम यांति शुद्धो धर्मो भी वर्धते प्योर वर्चुअस बिगिन टू फ्लोरिस व्हेन क्रोर्ज ऑफ एक्शंस एक्युमुलेटेड ओवर दिस एंडलेस वर्ल्डली लाइफ आर एनल्ड बाय मींस ऑफ समाधि स्टेंजा नंबर 38 धर्म मेघ मिमम प्राहो समाधि योग वित्त महा वर्षतेश है यथा धर्मा मृधारा सहस्र है द बेस्ट ऑफ नोवर्स ऑफ योगा काल दिस समाधि एज द क्लाउड ऑफ वर्चुअस ए पार्टिकुलर कॉन्शियसनेस पोजेसिंग वर्चुअस सिंस इट पोर्स द फ्लड वाटर्स ऑफ वर्चु in 8000 strings stanza 39 amna vasan jale nishesham parvilapite samulo anmulite punne papakhe karam sanchaye stanza 40 vake pratibaddham sat prake proksha vibhashate kar karamal kave धो प्रोक्षम परशुयते व्हेन द एंटायर नेटवर्क ऑफ ऑल डिजायर्स एंड टेंडेंसीज इज इरेडिकेटेड विदाउट एनी रेजिडु बाय मींस ऑफ दिस समाधि एंड ऑल एक्युमुलेटेड वर्चुअस एंड सिनफुल डीड्स आर कंप्लीटली अपरूटेड देन द इंपोर्ट ऑफ द टेक्स्ट which at first appears twisted and indirect now becomes clear without obstruction and direct like the amalka fruit in one's hand steed fast wisdom and liberation in life having demonstrated that samadhi is the means of self knowledge now commences the exposition on jivan mukti which ensues from this knowledge stanza 41 vasana anudayo bhoge vairagyasya tada vidhi aham bhavo daya bhavo बोधस्य परमावधि लीन वर्ते अनुपति मर्यादा परतेशु सा व्हेन देयर इज एन एब्सेंस ऑफ डिजायर इवन एमिडस्ट सेंस ऑब्जेक्ट्स देन इज द कुलमिनेशन ऑफ डिटैचमेंट द एक्सट्रीम परफेक्शन ऑफ नॉलेज इज द नॉन अक्रेंस ऑफ एनी egoistic idea and the peak of abstinence withdrawal is reached when mental modifications that have been subdued they arise no more a man of steadfast wisdom is known from his complete desireless state alone and not from his name and fame he is the one who has given up the egoism that he is a knower of brahma 
A person who has egoism of being a knower of Brahma is not a knower of Brahma in reality. Sitit pargyo yati rayam yah sada anand mashnute brahmane vili natma nirvikaro vinis kriya hai. Stanja number 42. This ascetic who enjoys eternal bliss with his soul wholly merged in Brahma being immutable and free from worldly activity is a man of steadfast wisdom. Stanza number 43 Brahma Atmano Shodhi Tayor Kabhau Vaya Gahini Nirvikalpa Chai Chin Matra Virti Pargeti Kathate Sa Sarvada Bhavedasya se jivan mukti ishyate That mental mood which being purified of all adjuncts comprehends the identity of Brahma and the Atma self after investigating them and which is of the nature of pure chit intelligence is called prajna awareness. Stanza 44 De Indriya Ahem Bhav Ind Bhavastha Dhanyake Vyasya No Bhavate Kapi Sa Jeevan Mukta Ishyate He is said to be a Jeevan Mukta who never has conceit of I in the body and its organs etc nor the conceit of this in respect of other things. That is, he transcends the empirical division of subject and object and realizes the absolute. Stranger number 45 Ne Pratyak Brahmano Bhedam Katha Api Brahm Suragyoho Pargya yo vijanati se jivan mukta ishyate. He is said to be jivan mukta, liberated in life, who through his integrated awareness never differentiates between inner atma, jiva, and brahma, and also between universe and brahma. Stanza number 46 Sadhu bhi puja mane asmin pide mane api dharjanaihi sambhau bhavedasya se jivan mukta isate He is said to be a jivan mukta who maintains equanimity when adored by the noble or tormented by wicked persons. Stanza number 47 Vigyat Brahm Tatvashe Yatha Purvam Ne Sansirtihi Asti Chen Se Vigyat Brahm Bhavu Bahir Mukha For one who has realized the truth of Brahma, there is no more attachment to worldly life, Sansara, as before. If such samsara still persist, then he is not the one who has realized Brahma, but he is an extra word. This may be said to be the final conclusion of this Upanishad. A person who has known his self has no more ego or sense of I in this body. Sense is withdrawn and the mind dissolved in Brahma. He has no urge to be involved in worldly life. He experiences infinite bliss and finds supreme satisfaction. Due to that knowledge, 
he feels that what has to be done has been done what has to be attained has been attained and there is nothing left to do or to attain due to the predominance of knowledge he withdraws from the from what is unreal if he is still allured by the unreal then he has not known his self this is the only difference between the one who has known the self and the one who is ignorant of the self a doubt is often raised that if one who has realized the truth of brahma and has withdrawn from the unreal world then how does he continue to live in the body does this jivan mukti liberation in life not liquidate the prarabdha karma this is being set forth now Yeah, refutation of hypothesis of prarabdha karma past operative actions stanza number 48 sukh sukhadde anubhavo yavat tavat prarabdhishyate phaloddha kriya purvo niskriyo nahi kutarchita prarabdha is said to persist so long as there is experience of pleasure and the like every result is preceded by an action and no wear it is seen to accrue without any causal action stanza 49 aham brahmeti vigyanat kalapkoti sata arjitam sanchitam viliyam yati parbodhat sopan karam vat through the realization of one's identity with brahma that is i am brahma all the accumulated actions accrued over 100 crores of eons get exhausted like the actions of the dream state on awakening this upanishad seeks to refute the hypothesis of prarabdha through an analogy of a person who is sleeping or joy and sorrow experienced due to things seen and actions done in the dream state come to not when this sleeping person wakes up then he realizes the on reality of things in dream state nada bindu upanishad stanza 24 and 25 explains further that just as the body seen in the dream state is untrue so is this body in waking state where then is rebirth to a thing that is illusory that portion of the karma which is done in previous many births is called prarabdha karma but such prarabdh but such prarabdha does not exist for the wise who has realized the unreality of body and other things through identity with brahma stanza number 50 swam sang mudasinam prigyay nabho yatha ne silishyate yati kinchit kadajit bhavi karam bhi realizing himself as unattached and as indifferent like the sky the ascetic is never affected even in the least by future actions at any time stanza 51 nenabho 
घट योगेन सुरागिन्धेन लिष्यते तथा आतम उपाधि योगेन तदम नैव लिष्यते जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स कनेक्शन विद द जार द स्काई इज नॉट टेंटेड बाय द ऑर्डर ऑफ द लिकर इन इट सो टू द आत्मा इज नॉट अफेक्टेड बाय द क्वालिटीज ऑफ लिमिटिंग एट जंक्स विद विच इट इज कनेक्टेड स्टेंजा 52 ज्ञानो दयात पुरा रब्दम कर्म ज्ञानान्य नश्यति अदत्वा सोफलम लक्ष्य लक्ष्यम उद्दिश्य श्रेष्ठ वाणवत द एक्शन कर्मा विच हैज कॉमेंस्ड बिफोर द डॉन ऑफ नॉलेज आई एम ब्रह्मा इज नॉट डिस्ट्रॉयड बाय दैट नॉलेज लाइक एन एरो शॉट टू हिट ए टारगेट स्टॉप्स नॉट बिफोर हिटिंग इट व्याघर स्टेंजा नंबर 53 व्याघर बुद्धया विनिर्मुक्त बाण है पश्चातु गोमत न तिष्ठति भिन्न तेव लक्ष्यम वेगेन निर्भरम द एरो विच इज शॉट अंडर द इम्प्रेशन दट द टारगेट इज ए टाइगर डज नॉट स्टॉप अपॉन रियलाइजेशन दैट इट टारगेट इज ए काउ बट श्योरली pierces is the target with full force the above two shlokas mention the traditional belief about prarabdha karma which holds the view that prarabdha karma karmas are not destroyed even after the dawn of self knowledge prarabdha karmas get exhausted only after undergoing the consequences of actions this view is being refuted now stanza number 54 ajro ammaro samiti je atmanam prapaddate tad atmana tishthato se kute prarabd kalpana this is stanza number 54 one who knows one's self as i am undecaying i am immortal and abides in that self now can be can he imagine prarabdha past operative actions stanza number 55 प्रारब्धम सिद्धति तदा यदा दे आत्मना स्थिति दे आत्म भावो निविष्ट है प्रारब्धम तज्जेता मत है प्रारब्धा इज वैलिड सो लॉन्ग एज देयर इज आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ द आत्मा विद द बॉडी बट द proposition of the body being atma is admissible in case of a self realized soul therefore prarabdha has to be rejected in his case stanza number 56 prarabd kalpana paise dehasse भ्रांति रेस ही अदस्त कुत सत्व असत्वश्य कुत जनी अजात कुत नाश प्रारब्धम शत कुत द हाइपोथेसि ऑफ प्रारब्ध इज ऑल्सो इन डीड एन इल्यूजन ड्यू टू दिस बॉडी हाउ कैन एनीथिंग विच इज सुपर इम्पोज्ड body is a supreme position on atma be said to exist really and how can that which is unreal prarabdha is attributed to the superimposed body heavy birth 
prarabdha is accepted because of birth of the body how can that which is unborn soul has no birth due to prarabdha soul has no birth due to prarabdha be destroyed it is absurd to think of destroying prarabdha pertaining to the soul whence then is prarabdha stanza number 57 gyanen gyan karyasya samulasya layo yadi tishtayam katham deh iti shankavato jadan stanza number 58 समाधातुम बाह्य दृष्टिया प्रारब्धम वदति श्रुति ही न तो दे आदि सत्य तो बोध नाए विपस्चिताम इन ऑर्डर टू रिप्लाई टू द डल विटिड हो डाउटफुली आस्क हाउ दिस बॉडी परसिस्ट इफ द एंटायर इफेक्ट्स ऑफ इग्नोरेंस along with their root cause are destroyed by knowledge the shruti speaks of prarabdha from an empirical point of view and not for teaching to the wise about reality of the body etc we find conflicting views on the hypothesis of prarabdha karma in various scriptures this upanishad sets forth the final and conclusive view on the hypothesis of prarabdha karma the nada bindu upanishad also questions the reality of prarabdha karma when he knows the eternal substratum of everything and whole universe therefore is rendered void when there is prarabdha to him the body being a part of the world therefore prarabdha is accepted only to enlighten the ignorant nature of brahma the next four shlokas describe the nature of brahma and deny any duality in it stanza number 51 pari puran mana manad antim parmey vikriyam saddhanam chiddhanam nityam anand ghan vyam brahma is infinite without beginning or end unfathomable changeless he is the mass of being awareness and eternal bliss and imperishable in nature stanza 60 pratyagya karsham purn anantam sarvato mukham ahe anupadeyam anadhe man asriyam brahma is within all homogeneous wholesome endless and facing everywhere being one's own nature he is not the one to be discarded or accepted not the one dependent on another nor having any spot stanza number 61 nirgunam niskriyam suksham nirvikalpam nirjanam anirupya savarupam yan mano vacha agocharam brahma is attributeless actionless subtle absolute tentless he is of indeterminate nature beyond mind and speech stanza 62 सत्समृद्धम सवतः सिद्धम शुद्धम बुद्धम मनिष्दृश्यम 
एकम वादियम ब्रह्म ने नानास्ति किंचन देर इज ओनली ब्रह्मा द वन विदाउट ए सेकेंड द अनकंट्राडिक्टेड रियलिटी एब्सोल्यूटली ब्लिसफुल सेल्फ एग्जिस्टेंट प्योर इंटेलिजेंट एंड विदाउट कंपेरिजन देर इज नो ड्यूलिटी वट सो एवर इन इट direct experiential knowledge the perceptor having imparted the indirect knowledge of self exhorts the <coughs> disciple to acquire the direct knowledge through one's own self experience the sruti says that scriptures reasoning and words of the perceptor or the means to acquire indirect knowledge while one's own experience is the means of direct knowledge and hence the ultimate proof stanza 63 svanu bhaktya svam gyatva sau svam atman खंडितम संसिद्ध है सो सुखम तिष्ठन निर्विकल आत्म आत्मनि नोइंग वन सेल्फ एज द इंडिविजिबल आत्मा बाय वन जोन एक्सपीरियंस वन शुड एस्टेब्लिश वन सेल्फ ब्लिसफुली इन आत्मा बाय द निर्विकल्पा स्टेट द डिसाइपल having attained that nirvikalpa state for quite some time with senses withdrawn and the mind completely merged in the infinite regains his normal consciousness and expresses his inner joy in the following verses stanza 64 कव गतम केन वा नीतम कुत्र लीन मिदम जगत अधुन मया दृष्ट नास्ति किम महद अद्भुतम वेर हैज द यूनिवर्स डिसअपियर्ड बाय होम हैज इट बीन टेकन अवे वेर हैज इट मर्ज्ड इट वाज साइटेड बाय मी जस्ट नाउ एंड हैज इट सीज टू एग्जिस्ट how strange is it stanza 65 kim heyam kim upadeyam kim manyat kim vilakshanam akhand anand piyus purne brahmaharnave in this great ocean of brahma filled with the nectar of infinite bliss what is to be rejected and what is to be accepted what is other than one's own self and what is distinct this is stanza number 65 now stanza number 66 ne kinchit tatre pashyami ne sharnomi ne ved mehem sau atam nev सदा आनंद रूपेण आसमी विलक्षण है नाइदर आई सी एनी थिंग नॉर आई लिसन नॉर डू आई नो एनी थिंग इन दिस स्टेट आई सिंपली एग्जिस्ट एज द सेल्फ द एटरनल ब्लिस बींग डिस्टिंग फ्रॉम एनी थिंग एल्स लाइक फाइव सीट्स और एनी अदर ऑब्जेक्ट स्टेंजा नंबर सिक्सटी सेवन असंगो हम अंगो हम अलिंगो हम भंडंगुर प्रशांतो अनंतो अहम परिपूर्ण अंत आई एम अन अटैच्ड सेपरेट फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड आई एम डिसएम्बॉडीड आई एम डिवाइड ऑफ द सटल बॉडी 
I am undecaying, I am serene, I am infinite, I am absolute, undifferentiated, and I am eternal. Stanza number 68. Ekarta ham bhogta ham vikaro ham kriya hai. Shud bodh sabrupo ahem kevlo ahem sada siva hai. I am not the doer. I am not the enjoyer. I am changeless and actionless. I am the essence of pure knowledge. I am alone, substratum of everything, known as aloofness, ever auspicious. Line of traditional teachers of this knowledge. Stanza 69. Etam vidyam pantr tamaye daddo, e pantr tamo brahmane daddo, brahma ghora angira se daddo, ghora angira rekaye daddo, rekaye rekvo, ramaye daddo, ram sarve bhyo bhote bhyo, dadadi tanni varna anushasanam, veda anushasanam, veda anushasanti upanishtah. This knowledge was imparted to Apantaratmas. Apantaratmas, he imparted to Brahma, who passed it on to Ghorangiras. Ghorangiras imparted to Rekwa, and Rekwa passed it on to Rama. Rama imparted it to all beings. This is the injunction for Nirvana. This is the command of the Vedas. Of the Vedas. This is the esoteric doctrine. Om Tat Sat. So, this Upanishad is completed. Thank you for watching this video. Namaskar, my dear friends. Thank you.